What's going on, people? Welcome back to KB Monday. Here with KB, starting off the year 2025. Just got done with this first game, as you saw in the last episode. But we are on the San Francisco Giants, hoping to have a good year. Missed the playoffs last year, obviously, with the Chicago Cubs, which was expected. I was hoping to get traded at the trade deadline. Didn't happen, so I had to finish out my year on the Chicago Cubs and had one of my best all-around statistical years. Home run numbers weren't as high as as uh, they were in the past. Neither was uh, my RBI total, but batting average was through the roof. And all around, a very, very good season. Very, very close to winning the Triple Crown. Just couldn't pull it out in the end with the RBI total. But uh, hopefully we'll have a season like that this year. But being on a better team, having people on base to uh, drive in. And here you can see a man on first. And KB drives him home, and that's what he gets paid the big bucks to do. Clearly not getting paid the big bucks this year, but <laughs> that was by my own choice just to prove a point that this game is very, very silly when it comes to contract negotiations because it really doesn't do anything. So hopefully MLB 13 the show. Let's keep our fingers crossed that they finally figure out what to do with player salary because right now it's, it's basically a giant... Uh, it's a giant waste, giant laughing stock, giant waste of time. No real reason to pursue a team that's offering you more money. You basically can play wherever you want because there's no ramifications as far as if you choose a team that's going to pay you less money or whatever. It's just, it's dumb. I could go to the Yankees and have them pay me $5,000 a year. I mean, there's no point to salary. So hopefully that gets figured out in MLB 13. I know we've talked about that quite a bit. Just hoping the devs actually uh, see some of my videos and they figure that stuff out because it, it would be a crying shame if it comes back to you. MLB 13, the show being exactly like MLB 12 as far as salary is concerned. So hopefully they figure that out and hopefully it actually uh, changes the way some of this stuff is played out because right now, like I said, you can basically choose whatever team you want. There's no real reason. To go to a team that offers you more money or more years or anything like that. So, Fingers crossed, babies. Fingers crossed. So let's talk a little bit about my Detroit Tigers signing Torrey Hunter to a two-year deal. Now, it's a lot of money that they're offering this cat. He's a very good player, obviously. And he had one of his better years last year as far as batting average is concerned. He still is a gold glove caliber outfielder, even though he is getting up there in age so a two-year deal I think it's worth like uh was it worth like 30,000 or 30 something thousand dollars or 30 30 million 30 something million dollars I should say uh it's kind of concerning just because of his age but he had a very very productive year last year was able to um stay healthy and was a, a factor in the outfield so I'm pretty excited for the Detroit Tigers, Torrey Hunter. Not even at winter meetings yet and uh, already pulling in some uh, new players. So kind of interesting to see if they are going to move forward on anything else. Obviously, um, they want to resign um, Sanchez. I don't know if that's going to happen or not now that they've wrapped all this money up in Torrey Hunter. Uh, hopefully they can work something out because uh, I think starting pitching is what really got us to the World Series. Obviously hitting wasn't uh, a huge factor in any of the series as far as our team is concerned as far as winning. I think it was starting pitching that really just dominated the opponents and then when we got to the World Series starting pitching didn't do very much of anything and then neither did the hitting so we got swept. So I think they really need to work on getting Sanchez signed. I think Torrey Hunter is going to help the team and uh, Victor Martinez coming back is going to not only help it, but uh, I think I think we're going to be a team to beat next year. And uh, I really, really hope that's the case. <laughs> um, but, yeah, and I'm, I'm whenever you see these winter signings like this and off-season signings, it just gets you so pumped up for the next season. Um, and it seems like it's so far away still being, uh, being not even Christmas yet, not even Thanksgiving yet. And... Uh, thinking about baseball already is a bad sign because <laughs> winter's not even fully here yet so we have a ways to go be even before spring training starts but uh 
it's going to be an exciting year next year. Hopefully, um, hopefully the Tigers can do something, something amazing. Go back to the World Series again would be awesome, but that's looking way too far ahead. Uh, as far as uh, what's going on with me, I've uh, been sucked into the Black Ops jungle, and I can't get out. It's been very, uh, very awesome. That game is really fun. If you're at all a Call of Duty fan or first-person shooter fan, I suggest you go out and get it. At least go try it. Um, right now, it's one of my favorite Call of Duties, but it's only been out a week. Uh, anytime you get something new, it seems like it's the greatest game ever. I said the same thing about Modern Warfare 3 when that came out. And you just have to give it time before things start to settle in. You finally figure out what perks work, what guns work, what gun attachments work, what kill streaks work. When you figure all that kind of stuff out, then you can really judge the game. And uh, we're not quite there yet, but I'm still enjoying the game. I hope you guys are enjoying the videos. Uh, I got another shotgun video coming out tomorrow. I just go off with the shotgun. I really love playing that uh, <laughs> with that gun. It only works on certain maps, but... Uh, Hopefully you guys will enjoy the video, kind of go over some of my tips and tricks for uh, using the shotgun, and then eventually, once I have enough clips, I'm going to put a, a shotgun montage together like uh, Sandy Ravage used to put out. Hopefully you guys will enjoy that as well. Uh, I'm going to continue with KB um, in Road to the Show. We're going to get him to where he retires, and that's going to come up probably in the next five years. I think he's got about five years left, maybe six. We'll see. And then um, going to continue the KB, my player, in uh, NBA 2K13. Tons of fun with that guy. Just about to get to the playoffs with him uh, in, in the real life. So, uh, But, yeah, Black Ops has been taking up a lot of my time. That's why I didn't live stream last week. Uh, I'm going to definitely get into live streaming baseball again. Uh, we really need to get on the high gear with uh, KB and get some playing get some games in I should say um, we just signed with a new team on the live stream uh, during the 600 home run live stream and uh, I haven't really played since then so I really need to get going on that I might actually live stream tonight so if you're around and uh, want to watch some baseball there's a good chance that I might live stream tonight for a couple hours uh, definitely gonna get back to live streaming every Wednesday baseball again uh, I had a lot of time off last week and just playing a lot of Black Ops, so all my uh, timetables for everything just got screwed up, and uh, <laughs> I couldn't get anything done besides playing Black Ops. Uh, but it's been a lot of fun, and I think you guys should definitely try it out if uh, if you're on the fence about Call of Duty or the new Call of Duty, especially after playing Modern Warfare 3, and. Uh, <laughs> you know, didn't like Modern Warfare 3, I think you really should give Black Ops a chance because it's it's a good game. I'm telling you, it's a good game. Uh, and once they figure out, especially on the PlayStation 3 side, figure out the lag and all that kind of stuff, I think it's uh, I think it's going to be one of the better ones out. And uh, they've already talked about tweaking some stuff, like if there's guns or perks or attachments that are overused and they seem too powerful, they're going to tweak that stuff down, and things that don't get used very often, they're going to give them boosts boost so that maybe people will try them out. Uh, so I really like that they're going to keep on top of that stuff. I wish MLB would do the same thing when people complain enough about some stuff that they actually make a modification to it. So let's hope, let's hope MLB 13, the show, is the MLB to end all MLBs as far as innovation because <laughs> we haven't seen it for a while. Alright, peace guys.